Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é o aqui no começo do vídeo para explicar aí um pouquinho sobre essa classificação da MBR para um grande campeonato aí que vai ter. Que se chamar Gamers 8 2023. O campeonato vai ser lá na Arábia Saudita e com a premiação total de 1 milhão de dólares. O campeonato contém os melhores times do mundo até agora e os dois times brasileiros que estão nesse campeonato é a Fúria e a MBR que conseguiu se classificar nesse classificatório que teve, esse Open Qualify. A Fúria foi invitada, o time da PEN também estava disputando esse classificatório, mas infelizmente caiu nas semifinais aí para ATK e ficou em quarto lugar. Galera, não se esquece de deixar o like aqui, se inscrever no canal para mais vídeos e vamos para os highlights aí da grande final. <risos> Precisas de novas skins? Registra-te em CSGO Fest e faz os teus teammates invejosos. Dá boost na tua inventoria em alguns cliques. Coloca o promo code e obtém bônus. Link na descrição do vídeo. This one comes through, a very good map for both of these teams. ATK choose to go for it. We are going to see Axit fighting early. Not able to get much going though. It's actually John. Five versus four. Will they check the close corner? Indeed, they will. Turtle gets nothing from it, but Insani is here, trying to hold position. No help for Insani, trying to delay, trying to stay alive, running out of bullets. 4v2 then for the remainder of this pistol. I might be able to be patient though. Oh my days, what is happening in this round? Henny Turtle and Insani getting to work. Knife out won't help you, mate. Now, if the timing is good for ATK, maybe they can try and use these numbers towards B. It's the only thing they really have to use. Swinging through now, forcing angles away with the flashbangs, but the CTs are here. And help is on the way. There's a good gap. And Nexus got a great angle. Running out of bullets. And that will allow the bomb to be planted, I think. There we go. So it's a good enough situation for ATK. Three players alive. They've got one kill and planted the bomb. And they've got a chance to do some more damage now. We'll forget about the winning, winning the round for the time being. Three of the four players with kits as they look to not lose any more players. But there goes Insani. Still plenty of time. But look how tagged they are as well. It's quite painful for Exit, and now we're talking about a round win as well, possibly. Wreck, 1v1, Turtles only got 10 HP, touching the bomb once again, and they've lost everyone. Ooh, here come the smokes into the B-bomb site, and there is Bjarnazan up top, able to get himself into a good position. Oh my god, it is happening wow. again. A little sketchy. They're losing all the things. Sending it into the A bomb site, then, or trying to. They will have some time pressure as well. The rifles are on the way. I can smell disaster as if it's in my own kitchen. Turtle peeking from the stairs now, doing some damage. The bomb is on the site, but it's only Wolfie now versus three. It might be about trying to get some frags so they don't take some weapons away. Big flash that Insani eats. Will there be anything for him? He spots the bomb. That's so much information for him. Trying to delay these players now as he falls back to the site. 28 seconds committing to this bomb site, but it's Swisher again. It's always Swisher forcing the issue, turning things around. Turtle hiding behind the smoke. That smoke has to mean something. They have to assume someone's there. Swisher creeping. He's on the way. As how about that for an angle on Wolf from Wolfie? Swisher again with three kills. Unbelievable stuff. Such a key player for the squad, turning this around. Utility. No orc for them either. Rex is gonna go running up banana. No fear, but no problem for Exit. He holds, he waits for them to come to him. And ATK's pace doesn't pay off. Wonderful continuation spray. Even if the silence done four enough bullets in 2023. Oh my god, Swisher's oh. peaks are so nasty. Now you start to see how he man manages to turn things around for his team so often. What on earth was that? Moving through is the point, man, with the flashes coming through, but they might need more, and they don't have any. Just smokes and mollies now. Still stuck in the smoke, but they finally made their way through. Exits abandoned the bomb site itself. Looking to keep the numbers up. Maybe afraid of Swisher. Wolfie's posted up on Banana. He's got two coming his way. He's missed the first one. Not ready for Insani up close. And there's more to do. Bomb's been planted. Missed him around the smoke. 
Nice peek from Insani there. Still work to do, though, as they search for these frags. There's no kit on any of these players. But they have plenty of time. Oh, oh dear. Over the top goes Insani. Is it just me, or did both those ATK players jump at the same time? Yeah. Are they were trying to boost so. each other or get boosted by each other? They'll have to wait for another round. This top mid stack is massive. There's three mm. CTs. It's a chunky grenade as well, which makes it so much harder for them to peek. And another grenade. Renault gets a double. But Swisher is back once again. It's always Swisher. Wolfie creeping through. Can't protect this bomb. And AWP has been collected. But for how long? Exit now in a one versus two. Wondering what to do. Concerned about his left-hand side. That's where Wreck comes from. And ATK keep poking. Swisher again. Will they creep all the way with no sound cue? Giving him IBR minimal time to respond. There's a smoke for CT. The Lurker Wreck has been dropped on the A-bomb side. The rotation is on now, and they're still poking in. Surely they lose one more player here to Breno. Indeed, they will. Then there were two. Make it one. Disaster for ATK in the last round, then. Missed him in a one versus four. Charging through, and it will be 7-8. Just one round between Might the be squads. On. Turtle and exit will be Kevlarless, and immediately ATK with four plays towards the A, the A bomb site are going for the fact chasing exit who finds the first kill. But Swisher can't defend this B bomb site, he's got to concede it. Wow, look at these frags coming through from MIBR. It is a massacre. Absolutely bonkers. Exit just getting everyone on that attempted flank from ATK. And John G waiting for a mistake that may never come here. I think they are ready for his position. Jump Peak will now give the game away. And not even a kill for John G at the end. Not wanting to give up his position just yet, but we've got a three-man swing around that long area. Swisher gets a 1v1. They're lining up for him. He's got the info at least. Wolfie moving into position now. Sees the shoulder, delivers a kill. No baiting being accepted by him. Bomb needs to be collected. 26 seconds. Wreck in the pit. Turtle and exit remain. Bomb's in the hands of exit now. 20 seconds. Do they commit to this or are they going for the save, I wonder? Looks like it will be the save. It's a time on the clock and horrible angles. Yeah, just not really able to find a way in when you lose the trades like that. Solid work from that CT. You know there's a push coming and there's four players behind it. But where and when? There's the flash avoided. But Wreck, oh, what a mess there. He had such opportunity. Switcher focused on short now as Wolfie runs. Distraction, a great headshot through the wall. But Exit might be able to find a way. There goes John G as well. Wolfie charging through the molly. They haven't heard him. He's got the 1v1. There's eight seconds. There's no time for Henny to find a, a bomb plant here. He's got to try and race to the kill. Wolfie hiding behind the boxes. One second to go. Storming through the molly, covering. Putting some smokes up, but surely ATK commit to this one. One more smoke to go then. There's the first kill as well. I smell disaster. I smell disaster. John G falling back. 18 seconds to plant. What do you do? Do they, do they just like save here? Because what, what else can they do? If they pursue this round, they're just going to lose rifles to these CTs. They waited too long. You've got to bait the grenades out. It's going to oh. die after time as well. What a flash. Surprise. John G's here to help. He's got one more flash. He won't go to the back of the side to help Mr. Just going to try and delay the entry, but they're already on their way. By the barrels, Breno will get dropped. There's another one there as well. Mistem's on an island. He really needs some help, but the smoke has gone at the perfect time. Jonji's here, and the support flashes as well. Smoke's up on CT, and they're falling away. Exit gets his reload in time, though, as Jonji tries to punish that reload. Mistem taking some damage. That flash will certainly help. There he is, Wreck with two. By the time you've seen him, it's too late. ATK in the lead. 
There's the flash. And he sees absolutely everybody, but gets absolutely nothing. Over a minute on the clock for the T side. So much information for him. Just a solo pushing through, but the chain flashes will certainly help. And overwhelming numbers as well. They've got two rounds to find MIBR, but this one will be so big because ATK will be broke afterwards. Two V three, such a marginal situation. Wolfie's got that AWP though. Considering they might lose everything if they try and commit to this one. Don't outstay stay, you're welcome. Just get out of there. Focus on saving your own bits and bobs. That is quite the send from them. And Mistim's only got a 5-7 to offer, but maybe some sound cues. The flash is there, but Breno will avoid. Looks like we might be going to overtime unless the remainder can do something about this. The bomb in CT spawn at present. Wolfie, oh boy, he's posted up looking at CT. And we've got somewhat of a stalemate. Maybe MIBR praying for an over peak from ATK from the A side of things. We've got Turtle in the apartments as well who might find an angle on wreck. He's getting compromised. And now Wolfie's on the wrong side of the map. MIBR brought to the limit in normal time. Surely they convert this one then. One versus four for Wolfie. He has a kit. And he has an AWP. And there it is. Over to MIBR. Squandered a lead towards the end, but managed to bring it back after losing that lead to overtime. And then he is here to drop John G as Wreck is gone as well. Just like that, we're down to a three on three, but Henny is still lurking, still lurking. Exit dealt with Swisher, we'll fire a few shots, maybe expecting a rotation. Not sure what we're gonna get here. Wolfie's not seeing anything down mid, so Swisher will have a job to do, as he often does, and he always delivers. 3v1 on this B-bomb site, but Wolfie is on the way. Swisher having a look-see, but he can't escape. At least Wolfie with some work to do. There's the HE grenade towards that default plant spot. And some flashes as well. Doesn't commit, though. Oh, what a head. Okay. Great wall bang onto Insani. Two more to find. Henny's still standing. He knows he's got the orb. Dodges the molly. Exits in the pit, though. With the USP, oh, this would be a monster clutch from Wolfie. Full commits, but Henny peaks immediately. A second flash. And Henny will still deliver the frag. Missed him, gets his bell rung. And now we've got problems, even with these numbers here for ATK. 30 seconds on the clock, and it seems like the rotation will be full as John G makes his way over as well. Long has been compromised. Missed him as an angle, though. Record run distraction. Missed him. Biding his time for now. He sees many players coming in that short position, and they're all falling. So might be our can they strike with this ATK? 24 seconds on the clock as they start to make their way towards the A bomb site. They have to deliver here. They've got to get this bomb planted. 4v4 now, but there's another player in the pit in Turtle. Will they be looking for him? Of course they will. Turning it around. Now there's no position for him, IBR, but that's one way to get it. Henny with the quick scope, punished by Wreck. Gap on the smoke. Breno won't be afraid of it though. 2v3 as he hunts Wolfie on the site, finds him as well. Missed him in the graveyards. Now exits the only man between 80k and a second overtime. Just being held in position here. Running out of time to get to that bomb and he'll be punished. And we are not done with this first. Let's pop flashes again. Everybody urgently trying to hold this position look at that swing from atk they really need one of these rounds in this in this half that's a great way to go about getting one henny in the clutch now one versus four with the awp he'll get his first 1v1 from swisher don't want to make that mistake again sort out your trade frags for the remainder Molly sold position for a time and the smoke as well. So it gets even more difficult for Henny. Switches out to the AK-47. He has the kits. But he's got to get kills. He's got to avoid the trade frags. Mr. doesn't give a crap about that. He's going to charge through and deal. Heading towards 20 seconds now. And MIBR are still 
slowly moving forward. Turtle not expecting Wreck to be in that spot. Missed him so blind on an island. Wreck stealing a second kill away. Rotations on the way now. Eight seconds to plant that bomb. Wolfie could just send it onto the Vespa. Spots the bomb plants. I can't do anything about it. That slow approach from MIBR is still working out for them. As Wreck finds himself alone. Grenades. Trying to get some bullets off towards the logs. MIBR will offer something towards this A-bomb site as well. Wreck on the immediate rotation. Again, MIBR just playing that clock and being rewarded once again. There goes John G also. Still a bomb site to collect though. Wolfie takes one in the face through the wall. And Wreck now will drop Turtle who was top mid. Completely resetting the situation. Hoping time may favor him. Look at how he has changed his spot. Last seen on long. Hiding in the corner now. Hasn't properly been checked for. Elevating. Look at the time he's buying. Wolfie's almost in a library. And down goes Henny carrying the bomb. Unbelievable. So many mollies to clear these spots. ATK have dumped almost everything. But Swisher on long is always going to be a help. Switches out with missed him then. Taking heavy damage. And Exit's going to be looking for more. Dealing with it. Seizing it. Oh, that timing for Breno. That's a problem. Things looking good though for MIBR here. Almost a two hour map of Inferno that we're witnessing. 80k. This has to be where the round is won for MIBR. So much jiggling. Look how many 80k players are here. The flashes are here. Turtles waiting for the next one. Big fight. Brennazan. Oh, has he done enough? Has he bought enough time? Exits making his way towards library. Man advantage is here for ATK. And they are booking it back to the B bomb site where Henny waits. 25 seconds on the clock through the smoke so much distance between the entry attempt and the remainder of the squad going for the bomb plant with no cover and henny's just standing there taking it for free what is happening towards the end another attempt now wolfie's gonna have a go and henny is still here that is one pistols are here julies for mr raid boss with the julies on the CT side. Super Mario Brothers towards the ramp then. So far, so good for MIBR. Oh, the second frag, things will get better. Bomb needs to be collected as Wolfie will deliver a kill. Getting on the scoreboard early then is Wolfie. 3v3 could still go either way. There's a very important Molotov though, which leaves John G stuck in the corner. But will he be checked for properly by Turtle? It doesn't. Oh my god, he actually went for the 180. And John G couldn't respond in time. 3v2 in favor of MIBR then planted the bomb. Missed him getting dropped as well. Those jewelies will be lost. And Wolfie's got 15 HP and Kevlar. Kevlar, sorry, a diffuse kit. Missed him is super blind. Oh, they're down. And everybody's made their way downstairs. Oh. That is sleek. They may have players to deal with on the ramp, but look how many of them there are. They're everywhere. Utterly swarming. MIBR, this, this one may have been a mistake for ATK. That was slick. Absolutely slick. And it's pedestrian, these frags from Breno outside as they swing through the smoke. I don't know if MI, I don't know if ATK had the vision to understand what even They're happened. Not really fragging massively for ATK either. And it, could it be a fast A play this time for real? Again, the flashes are so, so good. I think there might be somebody in main to deal with. Miss them looking for three and finding all three. The trades are here eventually. But now Breno is in the one versus two. Bomb on the floor in the A bomb site. That's going to be a hard two person set up to deal with there as Miss them overperformed up. And those smokes now look pretty good for the attempted cross. Amazon's found a kill anyway. He's going to try and sneak through, but Chonji's got him back for free. Nice movement by Swisher. Util exchange. Uh, Henny's in the bomb site alone with the bomb. 
Maybe felt like he had a window. Turtle creeping around and Swisher will continue to deal with these players. Sliding off the door, doing great damage to Exit as well. Nothing given for free by Swisher. 19 seconds now. And then RBR might be running out of steam in the short term. Swisher though. The flashbangs will have to be important as the Execute starts to come in then. And Swisher will get the first one for free. Turtle is here to trade. Look at these kills. <laughs> There's a team kill in there, but who cares about that? 3v2 for MIBR. Bomb needs to be planted, though. Wolfie showing presence. Bomb is planted before Wreck gets into position, and that's important. Been spotted now. I don't know how much there is for him to do. Henny gives him the 1v1. Oh, Red goes through the correct side, but apparently there is no correct side when you're up against them. IBR on Nuke. A painful existence for ATK continues as Wolfie and Mr. Roman are unable to get involved in this round before it's too late. Again, they might be a relatively unchallenged three men into the event. Maybe making that play after the beginning of the last round where there was that kill in the event versus the knife out. Perhaps that would deter him regardless of the nature of that round. Ooh. Oh boy. And no AWP up against him, so he will have the edge at long range, or you would think so. Not against the AK of Henny, though. Fantastic shot. And now MIBR can use that yard control, but 35 seconds, they've got to get a move on here. Before he's a flash missed them, but the numbers are here to trade. Tags through the CT vent. They know someone is there. Turtle delivers. And Smoke ATK. down early and Sani looking for the vent drop or maybe just the push out through door. He does get spammed. This time ATK able to deny the early play and Wolfie in position doesn't pull the trigger. They just run him down. The slowdown was crazy with the tagging on that squeaky player. Swisher is dropped, leaving three. Turtle will create some space and slow things down for now. So they try to retain control. But Mr. is lurking towards Decon, as we can see. Rex not far away either. Seems that Turtle's moving in for a bomb plant. Great isolation, but record go down through the smoke. 4v2, and Turtle again with this AK-47 is merciless. John G slowly walks to his doom. bruno has got a very good angle, though. Now, Swisher has found his way outside, but the action is being attempted towards the ramp, and those Julies are rattling off warnings. Swisher's rotation is going to take a while, though. Keep an eye on him on the radar coming in from the back. He's been spotted by Henny, who makes his way. He's moving with a Deagle, a Deagle and a pistol round for Swisher, who still delivers the frag as well. A raid boss Deagle in a pistol. You never see this. You never see this. The bomb lost on the A bomb site. 3v2. Chonji and Wolfie. As Turtle manages to dodge the bullets. There's a pre fire from Wolfie. He will be traded though. And now Chonji's got to creep up the ladder with a burst fire. Trying to reach Turtle. Still can't connect. Is he invincible? And the MP9, not going to love this range of fight. Uh oh. Turtle, oh boy. Okay. Beautiful. Ow. Just moved away in time. And this is looking so rough for ATK. It looks desperate. And it is desperate. And these AKs are losing to MP9s. Getting to Gamers 8 and getting. The majority of that charity money to the charity of their choice. Damage from exit. Kill from Insani. It is just clean pickings. Easy pickings here for MIBR. Now 
and he gets an upgrade. Oh, these guys outside in the red. One HP for Mistem. Now none. And that's it. MIBR make it to Gamers 8. They qualify. They win the final. Congratulations to MIBR. Rage on that beat, going crazy.